off, Boeing's Dreamliner is now up in the air and it's flying. After seven years of planning, two years of delays, the company's first all-new plane since 1995 is up in the air. Its first flight took off about 30 minutes ago from Payne Field in Everett. 25,000 people packed that area to watch it happen live in person. Next four hours or so, the 787 Dreamliner will be up in the air, flying out over the water, the Cascades to eastern Washington, eventually back to Boeing Field in Seattle. Good morning, everybody. I'm Mike Dardis. Thanks for being with us. I'm Connie Thompson. What you saw today begins months of rigorous testing of virtually every part of that plane, from lightning strike to power loss, but the headlines around the world today were on that dramatic taxi and takeoff that we all watched this morning. At least I hope you did. Our team coverage begins this morning with Como Force Mark Miller, who was on the ground with all those Boeing workers watching history. Oh, wow. Yes, indeed. History made on this very runway, runway 44, here at Payne Field. Now wet. It was cold, freezing out here. But you know what? Ah, that moment, that moment was spectacular. Look at that thing go. The 787 accelerating down the runway. Ah, so eagerly anticipated. Smooth, smooth, and the nose goes up at 10.37 a.m. on the dot and away, ushering in what aviation experts call a new era in commercial air travel. This is an aircraft that is, that is made of mostly lighter composite materials. It's more fuel efficient. It's less expensive to maintain. All right, that's all great. But you know what? Today, elated Boeing workers out here at Payne Field, they just wanted to savor this maiden flight. That was very exciting, very exciting. First time in the air, finally in the air. That was very exciting for everybody here. So a huge day for the Boeing company. It's a dream come true. Watch it progress and be a part of it. It's always good. Excited to be out here right in the front line today? I am, I am. It's the best place to be. Best place to be, he is right. More than a thousand Boeing employees gather next to the runway to watch this thing. They cheered, some of them hugged. I wasn't close enough to see, but I bet there might have been a tear or two. Now, this launches an aggressive 10 month testing program where they're going to put that aircraft through the paces, all kinds of crazy tests. They need to prove to the FAA that this thing is set to fly commercially because technically, I believe this thing is considered an experiment aircraft until then but Boeing is absolutely confident and they hope to be able to deliver that first Dreamliner to a Japanese airline in late 2010. Again today though is about savoring the moment after all those delays and disappointments. What we saw go down on this runway was a moment of pride and I think for all of us in the community just as members of the public that understand how important Boeing is to our economy, how many people we know that work there, make a living there, it was just a wonderful day, and I think we're all delighted to see this thing finally happen. Yeah, you're right. Can't help watching the uh, people and feeling that pride as that plane took yeah. off. Thanks a lot, Mark. Boeing featured its first 787 in a rollout ceremony July 8th of 2007 at the Everett Assembly Factory. It's been delayed for two years for a variety of problems. The most recent delay came from a structural problem within the side of body joint of the aircraft, the connection of the wing and the fuselage. Even said Boeing has taken orders for 840 of these beautiful planes. The biggest selling point is that the 787 promises greater fuel efficiency through the use of durable, lightweight composite materials. And just one of the planes cost a pretty penny between $150 million and $205 million dollars. Here we are 29 months after that big rollout party. Connie was just talking about the composite materials. Boeing says it's the first company to use materials like that in a plane like this. Each Dreamliner contains about 35 tons of carbon fiber reinforced plastic. It can fit between 290 and 330 passengers, the same as the 777. But this jet is expected to use 20% less fuel than similar sized planes. The engines were developed by General Electric and Rolls Royce and can travel about 560 miles an hour. Of the different versions of the 787, the longest range plane will go about 15,000 miles in one shot, enough to fly from LAX to Bangkok. And for viewing enjoyment, the cabin windows are larger than all other planes. 
And one of the main men behind the wheels or the steering of that plane is former U.S. Navy pilot Captain Mike Carriker. He is having his test flight, his plus flight team, or uh, plus test flight team. They're based in Boeing Field, which is one of the reasons the plane will land at Boeing Field. Captain Mike was the co-pilot in March of 2002 when a restored Boeing 307 Stratoliner ran out of gas on a flight from Everett and Elliott Bay off Alki Beach. He landed the plane very smoothly, and he'll do that today, according to the Seattle Times. He has a standby radio phone, and he and his co-pilot will have six handheld radios, and just in case, they have two parachutes. Hundreds of people stood outside. In fact, thousands of yeah. them stood outside at Payne Field to watch. I think 25,000 people. We just got to count to, that yes. Melody Mendez is one of about 25,000 out there in the area watching live. Tell us what you saw from your vantage point, Mel. Well, guys, I got to tell you, this knoll here on the north end of Payne Field, it was absolutely packed from the parking lot to the fence, stretching all the way down in that direction completely packed with people. And take a look, we even had to set up these cones so that we have a small area to stand in. And then, well, then the moment came. Here it is, taking off the plane from Payne Field. I know Mark just showed you this video from a different angle, but we had to show it to you again. You really can't see it enough. Cheers erupted as the Dreamliner took off from Payne Field. You can hear them there. Hundreds crowded into the parking lot of the future of flight. We talked to so many Boeing employees out here. They had tears in their eyes watching the Dreamliner take off. And we talked to others who don't work for Boeing. So many who took the day off from work, from school, just to be out here for this historical moment. Man, it's, I, I can feel the drizzling, you know, I was just feel of excitement. You know, it seemed like uh, something we have been waiting for all year long. This is a dream come true for all Boeing employees. I'm so happy to see it in my own eyes. It's so amazing. Um, I mean, I've been waiting for it for two years. I've been falling in line back home in Sweden, and now I saw it in reality. And it's so, so awesome. Yeah, now that second fellow you just heard from was actually an exchange student from Sweden. He's been watching the progress of the Dreamliner online for years. He says to be here, to be able to watch this thing take flight was an amazing experience. And really, the timing was absolutely perfect. Mike and Connie, after this thing took off, immediately after the rain started coming down, as you can see, it's still falling now. And the excitement, it was so, so, I mean, you could feel the excitement out here. And so many people, when they left here, when they were leaving, we were talking to them. Mike, they're actually headed over to Boeing Field in Seattle to watch this thing land. So clearly the excitement hasn't gone anywhere. They are still very, very pumped to watch this thing land, and they watched it take off this morning. Back we to you. Weather held out, didn't it, Mel, too? So it worked yeah. out okay. All right, thank you. It was a lot worse this morning. Today's flight, just the beginning of months and months of work and many flights. Boeing has planned nearly 2,500 hours of flight testing and more than 3,000 hours of additional ground testing before the first 787 is delivered. And Boeing's executive vice president, Jim Alba, says that could take almost a year. We've got 10 months of, of flight tests in front of us. Uh, we've got a, a production ramp that we have to come up. Uh, we're going to get to 10 airplanes a month by 2014. A lot of work to do. Pilots will test the 787 over that time in several different ways, including speeding down the runway and then slamming on the brakes. In the middle of takeoff at one point, they're going to deliberately cut an engine and keep going. These are the many flights planned, and not the one today, by the way. Later, they're going to fly for about five hours on just one engine. They're also going to, at one point, park overnight in 55 below Fahrenheit cold, and then turn on the engines the next morning to see how things are working. The first commercial 787 will go to Al Nippon Airways in Japan. Nippon hopes to get the plane sometime in the final quarter of next year. Al Nippon has ordered 50 Dreamliners and has been waiting for delivery since May of 2008. The first passengers are not expected to fly on a Dreamliner until at least 2011. Again, the 787 will fly for about five hours today. Landing at Boeing Field will carry the landing live. And you can get test flight updates on Como News Radio and ComoNews.com.